Uh, okay, are you ready? No. Scene. Are we in? All right, we're live. Here we go. We're going to talk about how we solve inequalities with radicals. The very first step is exactly what we have been doing. We have to get our radical isolated. So you, what would I do first? Oh, gosh. Oh, you add five. I would love to do that. Everybody with us? We're going to be going a little fast. Because this is old skills. This is old skills. I now have my radical isolated. I'm treating it exactly like an equal sign. So you, I want to get rid of the radical. Uh, would you square? I would love to. When we square a square root, what are we left with? You? 3x plus 4 is less than or equal to 81. Money. It's going to be a little ugly. Don't judge. Let's solve from here. Uh, you. How do I solve? Yep. Left with 3x less than or equal to what? Uh, Excellent. Oh, but it's not going to come out evenly. So what? Let's do it. Uh, you. What do I do? That would be 77. So you just divide it by 3. Yes. So? When you divide it, you get 25.6. Okay, can you tell me my final inequality answer? Uh, x equals 77. Oh, uh, x equals um, less than or equal to there it is. 77 over 3. 70, okay, so I got three options here. You can put 77 over 3, which is not my favorite because I don't know where that is because you're going to be graphing today. What's up? Bye -bye. <laughs> Second, you could have, what do you say, 25.67 probably if we were actually round, or 20 what? 25 and 2 thirds? Is that what you got? Was it 25? Yeah. This is what I prefer because you don't need a calculator to do that, right? If I'm dividing 77 by 3, I think, hey, 3 quarters, and I got 2 left. Okay, this is not new. This is old. You've already done this. But we just had a conversation. I need to look now to my guts, the guts of the radical. What's the smallest that this amount can equal? We just had the discussion over it. What's the smallest number allowed on the inside? Zero. So this quantity can be zero or anything larger than it. So what inequality is that? How can, if you're equal to something or any number above it, what inequality? Bingo. And this is part two of the lesson. So we got two conditions today. It's like an and uh, inequality. I got to do this and satisfy the other part. This one's really nice though, isn't it? It's a quick, easy solve. Uh, you, tell me what to do. Keep going. So we get x greater than or equal to, let's go negative one and one third. Everybody okay with that? Now we did that pretty quickly, but this is how we come up with our answer. I'm gonna do a scrap graph. A scrap graph, which means I'm just going to draw it on a lone number line to try to see where my answers are. This one is not going to be our final answer. This is going to help me see my final answer. Now, my two numbers, 25 and 2 thirds and negative 1 and 1 third, which one should go on the left? Um, the smaller number, right? Yeah. Let's see if we remember. Open or closed? Closed. Yes. Why is it closed? <coughs> Equal to. equal to. Nice job. I'm greater than. Do I go to the right or the left? Right. right. To the right. If you had me, we talk in an Australian accent. Right. Right. Still funny. How dare you. Now, second piece. 25 and 2 thirds. Open or closed? Close. Are we going left or right? Uh, less than, left than. Now, pause and reconsider. We mentioned it's an and, meaning we have to satisfy both of these conditions. Where are we satisfying both conditions? In the middle. In the middle. What you look for tonight, the overlap. The overlap is where your answers are actually going to lie. So remember, I said this is a scrap graph, not my final answer. My final answer only highlights what I conclude is my answer. So my answers lie from negative 1 and 1 third, closed circle, to 25 and 2 thirds, closed circle. 
And that's my final graph answer. Over time, interval notation. Yay. It's exciting. Interval notation. Least to greatest. Least to greatest. It's our answers from smallest possible to largest possible. So you, what is my smallest possible answer here? Negative one and one third. What's my largest possible answer? What's missing? Brackets. Remember the debate? Brackets or parentheses? Which one does it need to get? Why brackets? Closed circle. Closed circle. I like it. And equal to. Nice job. Cut.